Okay. Whew. So this year was crazy with injuries, as you guys all may know who follow me. But we were able to make it to the playoffs, which was a huge, huge deal. We drew Chicago Sky for our first opponent um, in the playoffs. And the game didn't go as we wanted it to go. The first half, especially for myself, uh, I think I was a little excited. Um, but I kept my composure, right? Uh, you always have two halves to a game, so that's the good, the good thing about it. Towards the end of the game, I think we all felt that pressure, like, okay, we need to make this our turning point now in the fourth quarter. I remember that. And I think we went on a, I, I think I hit, a, I hit two threes, then I passed the ball to Sylvia. She passed it to K-Mac for another three. That's a nine point swing. And I think we did that within maybe a minute, minute and a half, it was quick. Nine point swing, just like that, boom. I think we were down four points. And at that time, I remember thinking to myself, this has to be the turning point for us to win the game right now. That nine point swing gave us so much momentum. Chicago ended up taking a timeout and I just remember like almost coming to the bench looking at the fans like yelling like, yeah, let's go. Like this is the moment. And we just couldn't do it. We just didn't get it done. Um, and Chicago was able to beat us and then advance. And they advanced all the way to winning the championship. So I don't know how much it stings for me. I don't know if I should be happy or I should be upset like that could have been us because the team barely beat us and they win the championship. So I remember watching that game like, am I salty? Am I kind of salty? Like, I don't know how to feel right now, but a lot of feelings went into watching them celebrate. So that also fueled me for this off season. Um, and just knowing that they were, we were that close. Also, playoff format has changed, and I'm extremely excited about the playoff format. Um, and I think it'll it'll change the way we play this this playoff series and who wins. I think we'll have more chances, and many teams will have more chances. But it'll make the WNBA more exciting when it comes to playing a series and getting to that championship this year. The Shields tried to force it back in. And that's one of those possessions of just overpassing. The Shield should have gone up with it. Well, the tournament area powers drove in from that land. You know, I mentioned this before when I was going through the grind of getting back, rehabbing. I mentioned that you got to have that same passion going through rehab because you never know, right? And that's what I had. I had that passion going into rehab just to know that I'm going to get back to playing and now the get back is finally here. I'm finally here playing back with my team and I have a chance to win a championship. That resiliency, that effort every day um, has brought me to this moment. And you guys have been right, right along with the journey and I'm thankful for all my supporters and people that have just clapped me along the way, whether it was through rehab and now getting back into my rhythm. I just appreciate all you guys. And it's time to bring, it's trying to bring another championship to the Midwest. You know, where I'm from, I'm from Detroit and uh, Minnesota's pretty close to home. So I'm excited to do this. Uh, it's an odd year, like I mentioned. Cheryl Reeves has won like on every odd year. So it's the right timing for everything to come together and us to get another championship, which I think we will. So everybody knows, you know, this season didn't go as I wanted it to personally because of my injuries. Um, I'm excited for next season and to be completely healthy. And it's gonna be a different dynamic, which most of you guys might know, most of you might not know. Uh, one, of our, one of my teammates, Fee, um, is pregnant and congratulations to her. But now it's like, what do we do as far as that position and all the stuff she brings to the team as a player, not only as, you know, who she is as a person, but everything she brings to the team as far as stat wise, like she's a great player. So now we have to figure out and coach has to figure out what dynamic 
how is this team going to look? How is it going to be different? How are we going to still be successful with one of our main players out? So that's going to be fun to wiggle around because I know uh, we're all excited for her. But we're also excited to bring a championship back to her as well and get her pumped up for whenever she comes back. So um, two of our players had gotten hurt towards the end, or Re was before, you know, we started. So I'm excited to see what she's all about, get to play with her. I already like Re as a person, so I'm excited to see what she has, because we saw a little bit of that in the training camp, and she wasn't even 100%. I mean, this girl can jump out the gym. So I can't wait to see what she brings this year. Um, that's gonna help our dynamic. Dee Dee was her, and I know she is grinding and ready to get back after it. Um, so that's going to be fun just to add those two back into the mix and myself too, you know, all of us will be pretty much healthy and ready to go for the whole season. So I don't think everyone has had a chance to see that um, part of us because I told coach, you know, at the end of the season, I was like, I never got a chance to play with all my teammates. She was like, wow, I never thought of that because every time I got healthy, somebody was hurt, you know, somebody somebody was hurt. So it'll be cool to finally get a chance to play with 100% of my teammates and I'm ready to do that. So everybody here that's been following my journey knows that it's it's been a crazy ride. I'm sorry to have left you guys on that note. I think the fact that Chicago did win is sting so bad. But now I'm back vlogging, back doing content and back ready to show y'all what life is all about for me, Ariel Powers. Um, I'm gonna be doing more vlogging, uh, showing you guys what my off season looks like, uh, even the stuff with Team Liquid, my workouts, and just me living life. So I'm happy to be back on YouTube and I'm excited to show y'all my journey throughout this off season and get back to um, Minnesota in April and start working for in training camp and go crazy this year. But I want to say I apologize, and I'm so, 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 so excited uh, for the content we'll be creating. Let's get it.